are bulletproof vests racist? Well, according to NDP leader Andrea Horwath, the answer is apparently yes. <laughs>Have we reached peak racism hysteria yet in which the usual suspects see an act of racism perpetrated with every action or every statement that they do not agree with? Perhaps because as the NDP continues to go hard, hard left now that it is the official opposition in Ontario, this party is amping up social justice jingoism at the expense of the facts and for that matter, logic. Here's the skinny, newly minted Community Safety and Correctional Services Minister, Michael Tibolo, recently went for a ride-along with police in the tough Toronto neighbourhood of Jane and Finch. As per protocol, he wore a bulletproof vest. And later at Queen's Park, Tibolo admitted to doing so. Personally, I went out to Jane and Finch, put on a bulletproof vest and spent 7 o'clock to 1 o'clock in the morning visiting sites that had previously had bullet-ridden people killed in the middle of the night. Well, ho, ho, cue the outrage. That the comments that he made in this house are nothing but racist, because they are. They basically uh, <laughs> stigmatize the Jane and Finch, Finch community. And Liberal MPP Michael Coutu joined the pylon too, noting, quote, I don't know what the minister was scared of, end quote. Well, I don't know if Minister Tobolo was scared of anything, but in the Department of Better Safe Than Sorry, it is probably a prudent idea when visiting a crack house at one in the morning on the wrong side of the tracks to don some body armor. Or this being Toronto in 2018, you never know if some random chap suffering from mental illness might happen to swagger by, brandishing a loaded Glock, of course. But it's a moot point. Any police ride-along, even in Tony neighborhoods such as Rosedale or Forest Hill, it requires the civilian to don a bulletproof vest. Those are the rules. This is definitely for protection and perhaps as a way of limiting liability. But donning a bulletproof vest is not meant to stigmatize anyone, nor is it supposed to be a racist statement. In fact, folks, when you think about this preposterous reaction to Tobolo, just who is the racist here? Compared to the rest of the city, Jane Finch has a disproportionately high crime rate. So is Horwath and Coteau connecting dots that Tobolo never even dreamed of connecting? That because the Jane Finch corridor has a high percentage of black residents, that someone donning a bulletproof vest is making a statement about disproportionate blackness as opposed to disproportionate crime? Even if that is indeed the case, maybe it is Horwath and Coteau who require sensitivity training. At the end of the day, Tobolo should be applauded for venturing into the field and seeing firsthand what the cops have to deal with on a daily basis. He should not be condemned for supposedly stigmatizing a community that needs some much needed help. Surely nobody would dispute that point. As for Ms. Horwath, I say in for a penny, in for a pound, which is to say perhaps this esteemed member of the opposition needs to double down on her virtue signaling by, oh, I don't know, going for a stroll in the Jane Finch area in the wee hours of the morning. And of course, Horwath had better not wear a bulletproof vest or for that matter, take advantage of a police escort because we wouldn't want to stigmatize anyone or any neighborhood, right? For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, the Rebel has a brand new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.